Welcome back to another episode of FTK Feature Focus. And today we're going to answer a question from a comment that I got today from the episode nine index search report episode. So before we jump into this, where we talk about, can we use filters to search for words within text files? Just know that we have a lot of FTK feature focus episodes that go over different ways to use FTK and various things in that space. And you might be thinking, hey, why was this video recommended to me? Or why am I watching this? I don't even have FTK yet. Hey, that's cool because we have an FTK 8.0 free trial program. It's our latest version of FTK. You see Harsh here, our director of product management. I think he just got a promotion, so congrats to Harsh. But we can do a 30-day trial, and you can download it here and follow the instructions. You can install full version FTK and run through it, try it against some evidence. You can test out some of these feature-focused things, follow along, learn some new skills. And of course, you know, after you get some hands-on, play with it for 30 days, you can go to the website and pick it up. I prefer the law enforcement bundle because you get FTK Connect, our automation engine. But for the price of a few extra value meals at McDonald's, you can get base FTK as well. We'll have another video coming soon on how you can improve your imaging using full version FTK as well. Stay tuned for that one. But again, Let's jump into LG's question here of, could you tell me if there's a word search filter within the files, just as the index search does? That is, from the filters window, which filter can I use to search for words within a text file? So we're actually going to jump into FTK core view because this is where you can create the most robust filters. FTK Smart View, of course, has some really cool stuff and some intuitive interfaces for building filters, for sure. But Core still has, if you wanna build super complex stuff and save them and run them, this is where you wanna be. So to answer the question, the filter system works based on the columns. So everything here in the properties dropdown pretty much will be something that we have the ability to store as a column. So when we see here, here's all the message columns that we have that will be filled with content. So for example, when we say name, it's going to filter based on stuff within the name column. Pretty standard, makes sense. So we'll set, set this to like case is insensitive for now, whatever. The issue with the question is that can we use filters to filter the content of a file? Only if the content of the file is placed into a column. An example of this might be an email where we put, we have a snippet column. So you could filter on the snippet based on that. And there's, you know, like 255 of the first characters from an email stored in there. So you could use the filter to do it that way. Or for example, when we parse information out of event logs or registry files or link files, that sort of stuff, we pull out a lot of that information and we put it into columns. So in that case, you also could use the filter system. But as LG's question indicated, the text out of like a text file, maybe a Word document or a PDF, we typically do not have a column that holds that content. Okay, most, I say most of the, the documents that or the information that we show here in the um, columns will be metadata or data about the file. Another exception I should say offhand is messages. Um, text messages, chat messages, that sort of thing will be displayed in the columns. So you could, like I just showed, drop down, select messages or whatever, and uh, filter based on the content in that case. So. How can you leverage index search though to kind of accomplish the same thing and narrow down your search to, you know, make it a little better. So in this case, I'm gonna say name is case sensitive and, uh, or not is, we wanna do contains case insensitive. And I wanna say TXT and I'll explain why I do this here in a second. Then I'm gonna add another rule. I'm gonna hit a drop down, and I'm gonna go over here more common features and grab extension and we'll say is case insensitive and also put TXT, okay? 
And then I want to switch to, or it's already on it. I want to have match any. Okay, so I'll hit live preview and we're on the search, uh, the search pane. So we don't have anything here. Now, why I want to do this is FTK has a column for extension. You can see it here at EXT and it has a column for name right here, name. Sometimes depending on your processing option and depending on how the file is stored and or named, etc., you may not have anything in the extension column, but the file name, as we'll see here in a minute with the example, might be like password.txt, but it doesn't register as an extension properly. And so FTK doesn't uh, parse it out in that way. So by doing both, we would grab password.txt if you know it was named that, or we might also, if it was just password with an extension of automatic extension of .txt, we would get that as well. And since match any, we'll pull back both. By turning on live preview, we activate the filter. Now it'll go away if we close this. So we're just gonna kind of move this into the middle here. Let's say that um, you have, um, you know one password and you're hoping to find other passwords that are stored maybe in a document with it, okay? So we know the password is there might be coffee, okay? And we can search for that and we get four results. Now, we have this uh, filter on, so when we hit search, we wanna include all files because this filter will apply. Now, if you saved it, you could apply the filter here and not do this, but this is a filter, hey, I don't really care to save it, it's super easy to create, this isn't maybe going to do much for me next time, but maybe it is, and so you could give it a, you know, a name of you know text files only, and then you could apply it here, either way, I'll show you the pros and cons of doing it both ways here in a second. So I'm gonna in include all files. So we get two hits. If we select that, we get passwords.txt. And when we select it, we get, there might be coffee we can see here. And oh, hey, yep, sure enough, um, it's stored with uh, two other passwords, okay? In, you know, a passwords.txt, <laughs> you know, simple stuff. So a uh, simple way to search the content of only text files. Of course, you could change this to PDF. You could also do, if you wanted all documents, file categories, documents, you got some flexibility there. One thing I wanna point out of doing it this way, the fast way, if you will, is if we look at our search result here, notice that it says DT search, index search, right? Pre-filter all files, query, there might be coffee, okay? Pretty straightforward, nothing too whatever. But the thing you want to be careful about and remember is we actually ran that with a filter. So if I turn this off, notice that I get all four results. I get the master file table as well as both uh, passwords.txt, okay? But it still says two files here. Okay. Just be aware of that, that it, it doesn't, it doesn't put it here. So if I were to say, let's say uh, text files only, and we'll save it. Okay. And we'll close this. And now I want to search for, there might be coffee. I can hit search, apply the filter. And if Steve Sunday is watching, he's going to be saying, Hey man, you should have put an underscore underneath that. So you didn't have to scan all the way to the bottom. I know and I hit apply filter and I search. Now notice the difference here. I still get the same two passwords.txt, but it's recorded pre-filter text files only. Okay, and then my query, there might be coffee. Same results, different ways we got there, but the reporting in this case is going to indicate the filter that we applied. Okay, just, it, you know, it's the same results, it's fine, but just be aware that if now I come back up and I select this, I'm gonna have all four files, even though it's not indicating such here because I'm no longer running the filter. So in the smart view, of course you can use various searching um, there to get into the content, but again, it's searching, it's not filtering because filtering works on the columns, searching will do the content and the metadata. Again, Feel free to check out the other FTK feature focuses on the channel, subscribe for more. We are pivoting back up our YouTube. 
I get put on other focuses. And so uh, this kind of, you know, slows down a little bit, but we are coming back. And don't forget, if you don't have FTK, you want to try it out, feel free to download the trial. It is a full version trial. So all the features, all that sort of stuff, you can get in, give it a go, uh, process some data, and uh, fall in love with FTK. <laughs> all right. Uh, and then again, we have our store.xtro.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in the next one. If you have questions, feel free to drop them into the comments or shoot me an email or whatever, and I will try to answer them in a video if it makes sense or just in a comment, whatever. Thanks. Okay, bye.